Hello everyone, my name is Sinistic, and hey, we're still going back to, Mo to more Mori. Um, yeah, okay, I've definitely been working on trying to get to that branching point in neutral run, but I just wanted to show y'all this cool title screen. Um, Amori is close to- no, Amori is in black space right now, as my load- my, my last save file was. So I didn't realize the title animation would change, so I just thought that was cool. So, okay, just wanted to point that out. Um, I, uh, hopefully I will be able to get to neutral run branching point in this video. I should be able to. I mean, from where I'm filming it right now, filming, I'm not filming it, where I'm recording it right now, um, I haven't done it yet, but hopefully I can do that as I'm going forward. Okay, whatever. Let's continue. Okay, we're back. Alrighty, awesome. It's definitely been a long way to get to here in Black Space Land. Oh, wow, there are a lot more door- Wow, there are a lot of doors that I missed. Okay, y'all, let's check them out because I still haven't seen any of them and see what the hullabaloo of the other doors are about. So, it's- Yeah, I'm very curious to see how- Oh. Ooh, Basil again. Oh, thank goodness you're here, Amori. I thought I was going to be stuck here forever. Okay, so another scenario where we have to save Basil, not Basil. Phew, that feels so much better. I can't believe you came here to save me. I missed you so much. Now that you're here, I can finally go home. Lead the way, Amori. I mean... Okay. That's interesting, though. It's like the other scenario where he turns into a watermelon. It's like, oh yeah, no, you're going to be saved. But then this scenario... Oh... You know, I think spires are really misunderstood. They might look kind of scary, but they never attack humans unless they feel threatened. Not to mention, they're also one of my biggest helpers when I'm gardening, since they eat a lot of the pests that can hurt my plants. It's all about the balance of nature. Uh, I remember a while back, you told me that a big spider fell on your shoulder just as you were about to dive into the lake at our secret hangout spot. I know that the spider must have looked so scary to you, but I promise you that you probably looked a lot scarier to the spider. No offense, of course, haha. Uh -huh. I mean, Basil, you're looking a little bit pixelated here. More than- There's so many spiders here all of a sudden. I can feel them crawling all over me. Maybe they're just saying hello. Hi, spiders. It's me, your friend Basil. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't want spiders crawling over me, that's for sure. I don't think- Does Hero ever get over his spider phobia in any of the endings? May I don't know. Huh. I guess spider is just like universally like scary thing, you know? Um... Ugh, they're biting me. Oh, dude. Oh, I'm probably just scaring them. There, there, Spires. It's okay. Oh, Basil. No, don't do it. <laughs> no, do that. It's okay. I'm not here to hurt you. Oh, no. I don't. Oh, spider crawling. Oh, can I? Am I? Am I actually finding a way out? I feel like Basil is just going to keep bi bi being bitten by spiders. Oh, <laughs> shoot. There's so many of them. I can't get them off. Uh, ugh, I'm worried. Uh, Amori, please, help. Uh, oh! Ah, oh, man. The baby spider grieved the mother- grieves its mother's death. I, um, I'm trying to find a key. Is there a key anywhere? Uh, oh, okay, the red footsteps are back. Alright, awesome. Huh, that's interesting. Basil, there's watermelon death basil, then that, oh, now we have spider death basil. So, um... Huh. It's interesting. It's like Amori's mind is just trying to get rid of Basil, essentially. I mean, it's like he knows it's right, but then he also knows- Oh no, he knows it's wrong, but he also knows that's not right. It's like a, a mixture of those kind of feelings, huh? Ooh, what's this? This is pretty. It, it's probably reminiscent of the rainy day uh, memory that they had, right? Where they all wore their coats and stuff. It's almost close to the pink color, like for Aubrey, right? Ooh. Oh, that was simple enough. All right. I miss you, Sunny. You were always someone I can depend on to listen. I would have loved- oh. My problems, my hopes, my dreams. You knew them all. So if you're still there, please let my words reach you one more time. That's not actually Basil saying that though, isn't it just like Sunny in his mind, Basil would say that single daisy. I would really love to see oh, actually no, I guess I guess I need to rewatch all the memory flashbacks again, because I would want to see I wanna see more of Sunny and Basil's previous relationship before Mari died. And see how that was like. Okay, how do I get out of here? Where 
there's the red hand. Um, yeah. That's interesting, because I kind of I already understand that the um, the Mari ghost, at least the one with the white cloth or whatever, is um actually I, I'm gonna assume that's actually that's like actually Mari from the grave telling Mori, not Mori, Sunny that like hey you need to get over me son or little brother because of the oh whoa our friends uh okay let me click yeah because of the flower orchid uh oh shoot what are they doing? Basil, come on. Oh, oh, yikes. Slender Basil. Slender Aubrey. Uh, hero. Wait, where did Mari go? I saw Mari. Mari. Okay, yeah, that's spooky. It's spooky, but it probably means something. How, like, Amori feels like they have. Not Amori. Sun Sunny feels like his friends. He can't face his friends. Or something. I don't know. I'm kind of just making that up, but I feel like it could be something like that, you know? Um, Alright, next door. Ooh, construction. Ooh, I love that. That skyline's pretty. Oh, oh no. Took a nice nap. Oh, I didn't mean to, but alright. Oh wow. I wonder what this is supposed to mean. Let's keep climbing higher and higher. Oh, our treehouse. Oosh. Oh, the moon. Oh, Amori! Is it really you? How did you find me? Are Cal, Aubrey, and Hiro here too? I've missed you all so much. I'm glad the treehouse is still standing. Everyone worked really hard to make it together. Let's go home, Amori. Yeah, um... I mean, the only way left is through the treehouse, right? So... Eesh... Eesh... Toy... Box... Done... Fun... Fun... Game... Cookies... So it's like the remin rem remnant... Remnant? Remnant? Yeah, remnants of Amori's memories. It's, it's like the kind of thing, right, where it's like, oh, all of your happy memories are now um, shadowed over with guilt and sadness. It's like look what could have been back then. Cat. Toast. Is there anything in here? Uh, was there anything in there? I, I, I didn't see anything. Uh, yeah, I didn't see a key in there. Oh man, I might have to do this on my own time, but I would love to see a juxtaposition to the placement of all the original items there. To see like what each item and like the real thing means to like that glitchified version. An elevator? I wonder where it leads to. Maybe maybe it can take us back home. Wonder why Basil lives in a shoe. Huh. I just I just thought about that. It's like wonder why out of all the characters, Basil is the one that specifically has a house. Um, let's go to other world, sure. Uh, it's like what a, it's like. I mean, it's like what about our boy Orange Oasis, man? Come on. Okay. Um, I really want to see the mystif the mystified versions of each of these places. Oh no, can I do it? No, I just have to wait. All right. Oh, can't press X? Okay. Hmm. Uh, actually, while we're here, can I share something with you? Amori? Yeah, uh, yeah. No, oh, no, apparently not. Alright. Are you gonna tell me that you're dead, Basil? Or that we- Oh! Uh, hold on, Amori! I, I think I'm stuck! Could, could you help me out? <laughs> you know, find Final Destination 2 right now, jeez. Uh... Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Amori. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, wow. Another death by Basil. Or, uh, elevator death. Um, yeah, let's get the- let's get out of here. It, it's so weird, we're putting priority on getting all the keys, but like every time we're getting a key, we're just seeing Basil die. Uh, 
why is he why is he killing basil so much is it because i guess i mean like i say that but it's like i, I think i can kind of get the vague answer oh yikes mari huh <laughs> An empty fishbowl. Back then, I wanted to save what was left. But even after everything, you left me, Sunny. I waited for so I waited so long for you to come back. Even seeing you now, it's hard to think straight. I can feel my heart hurting. I want to cover my face and hide. There are so many things I want to say to you, but the words won't come out. I just I waited so long for you to come back, Sunny. But you never did. What's the chance that like that stranger ghost Basil is like actually Basil and IRL telepathically talking to Sunny about his feelings? Or is there a chance of that? Or is it just like Sunny thinking that's what um, uh, that's what Basil wants? I don't know if there's actually like a legitimate connection or that um hmm, legitimate connection between the stranger and like Basil, but. Okay, time to find Red Hand. All right, let's go. Man, I really wish I saw all these in the in my original playthrough of this. I'd probably come up with different theories about what each thing were. But now knowing the truth, it's like, oh, now I know what that means. I know what that means, you know? Ooh, pretty. Ooh, a tree stomp. Oh, Basil. Amori! Psst! Amori! I'm right here! Oh my god, don't be stuck. Okay, cool, cool. Ta-da! Surprised to see me? I've been hiding out in the stump since I got here. I'm not the best at, at defending myself, but I think I'm a pretty good at- I'm pretty good at surviving at least. Anyway, I knew you'd come to save me, Amori. And I'm sure we will able to be- well, we will be able to make it out of this place now that you're here. This place seems a little dangerous, but I trust you. Man, it- Maybe it's just the dreamscape, but everyone in like the headspace skip is always like, Oh, Amori, I trust you. Oh, Amori this. Amori that. Like, uh, hey, Amori, you're, you're acting kind of cold. Did I do something wrong? Oh. No. <laughs> okay, no, yeah, 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 let's take the raft. Oh, how nice. I love the crayon aesthetic, though. I think it's very fitting. Or not very fitting, it looks very cool. Uh, Omori, I, I don't like this place at all. It doesn't feel very safe here. <laughs> Amori's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but at least we have each other. <laughs> uh, actually, there's something that's been really bothering me. Would you care to hear me out? Oh, is he? This is Basil trying to tell Mori that like Mari is dead because he saw the photo, right? Okay, okay. Now I can understand why Basil keeps dying because he doesn't look as like at this point, may, um, Omori slash Sunny doesn't want to see the truth. Ooh. But because it's a dreamscape, because he's gonna have to keep coming back. Uh. I mean. I don't know if I want to take the raft again. Actually, no, I'm very curious. Like, if you take the raft again, what, what happens? Uh, let me see, let me see. Yeah, let's take the raft with Basil's dead body. Will he still talk? No? Oh, no, okay. If Aubrey, Kel, and Hero would look at us now, it would probably be- it would probably look very sad. Yeah. Man, I really want more digest on Amori- not Amori- I keep calling him Amori, but it's like Sunny and Basil's relationship. It's interesting how Mori's name is like permanent, but then Sunny's name. Oh, well, I guess maybe that's just the character thing where it's like Sunny's name can be changed or whatever. Um, but Mori is still like a Mori. Alright, yeah, this is more spooky than I imagined. Alright, okay. We're out of here then. Can I go into the stump? Uh, well, there's always another, but do you want to be asleep or do you want to be awake? 
See, my question is what would happen if Amori slash Sunny just kept himself forever, right? I guess that's what Hikakomori route is, which I'm also working on on a different save file, but that one's also kind of hard because I'm not sure. Everything kind of still feels the same and I don't know when it changes. Oh, okay. Ooh. What's this? That's spooky. <laughs> that's spooky. Ooh. Oh, that was easy. All right. Basil, where are you? No, oh, no. We didn't even find Basil. Okay. He didn't die a horrible death or anything. So. I hope I didn't just skip out on something cool. Because I found everything too quickly. Ooh, a bunch of beds. This reminds me of, um, Mari. Huh? Sunny, we're moving away. Uh... Okay, mom. Uh, okay. Okay, maybe this is just the time ticking thing of like, hey, we're gonna move soon. D you know. Oh my gosh. Guilt. Guilt. Okay, one last door. I believe it should be the last door. So. Oh, our friends. Mari's here. It's not really Mari. <laughs> Kel's here. Basil. Basil. Basil! Basil, not Basil. Hero. Just run around a little bit. I think that might have been all of them. All right, awesome. Nope, I forgot one. <laughs> that, that's a lie, JK. What door is this? tired of saving me all the time. Maybe I should have tried harder. Anyway, everything is fine now that you're here. Let's go home. Hmm. Can't just Amori think of a Basil that just doesn't have the memories of Mari? Is that possible? But I guess that would be jarring to the player, right? The whole time I've been here, I've been looking through my photo album to keep me company. And when I was feeling scared, I would look at all our happy memories together. It really helped me keep my hopes up. I feel like there's some photos missing, but maybe I'm just imagining things. How are Aubrey, Kello, and Hiro anyway? I hope you all didn't worry about me too much. I mean, literally they forgot about you for like a good half second, so I can't wait to see everyone again. Oh, oh. <gasps> Our friends, Hiro? Is that you? Amori, look, it's Hiro! He didn't tell me everyone, everyone was already here. Well, Hiro, come back, no. Oh, chicken. Oh, black space. Oh, oh, e. The Matrix is getting fucked up! Hero? Don't do it, hero! Oh, no. E. <laughs> oh, e. The glitch. Kel! Aubrey! It's so good to see you guys! How have you been? Did you miss me? <laughs> Wait, wait, what what are you guys doing? Oh no. Oh no! It's like Mr. Scarecrow or Scarethrow. Oh man, it should be Amori! <laughs> God! <laughs> what are you being the show, Basil? Oh my gosh. Man. Aubrey always gets what she wants. Kel and Aubrey have been fighting a lot again. You would think they got tired of it after a while, but they're just both so full of energy. Hi, Amori. We were hoping that you were coming by soon. Oh, I didn't do Kel's voice. Fuck. Ah. Wanna play cards with us? We were just about to start another game. Shit, shit. Let me try that again. Man! Aubrey will always get what she gets what she wants. Okay, um. I. Uh. uh you can't. 
no, Basil's not okay. Um, let's get out of here. Let's not go back to that. Yeah, I think this is probably Sunny and Mori's mind trying to re readjust with Basil. Okay, I guess that's what I said before though. It's like if it, this is all in Sunny and Mori's mind, then he can make them act and do however he wants, right? And so if he wants to destroy Basil, that's what he'll do. He'll destroy Basil. Okay, let me double check. And just run and see. Run and see. Oh my gosh. Oh god, oh god, don't get lost. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Where did I go? Where did I go? Oh shit, am I actually lost? Uh no no no. Okay. Woo, that would have sucked. Okay. Um, let me Okay. Um I will hopefully- okay, so from here, I will go to the next part because I don't think we need to see this all over again unless something new happens. Okay, mm, let's go.